His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Safariya Palace today His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty exchanged cordial talks with His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales on strong and distinct historical relations, the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom, which is based on mutual respect and joint coordination in various fields. His Majesty said that the visit of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales reflects the progressing ties between the two countries, stressing the role of the Prince in the consolidation of these relations and its development for the good of the two kingdoms and the interests of the two friendly people. His Majesty the King, His Royal Highnesses the Prince of Wales and his wife, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall, watched a parade for Bahraini, pure Arabian and uh, thro thoroughbred horses and were briefed about efforts to maintain them. His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales talked about those horse racing festivals in the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom and the need to promote the sport in the local and global community. His Majesty the King stressed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is keen to participate in various races held in the United Kingdom, in particular the Royal Windsor Equestrian Festival, which is one of the world's most important equestrian festivals. For his part, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales expressed gratitude to His Majesty the King for the warm reception and generous hospitality, which reflects the depth of the ties between the two countries, expressing his admiration for what he saw of the show, which characterized its beauty and quality of the horses. Then His Majesty the King bade farewell to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and his wife, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall, thanking them for the visit and the positive results for the development of the historical relations and cooperation between the two friendly countries in all fields.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales today visited the UK Naval Support Facility in Mina Salman, during which an official ceremony was held to inaugurate the welfare bloc. Speaking on the occasion, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that the Naval Support Facility represents an important moment in Bahrain's long-standing defense and security ties with the UK and demonstrates both countries' firm commitment to protecting regional stability and security. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince went on to underscore the vital role the facility will play in expanding the capacity of joint UK-Bahrain naval operations during a period of, of ever-changing threats. His Royal Highness note said that, or noted that at a time where the region faces complex security challenges, Bahrain remains committed to working with its international partners in increasing stability, security and prosperity across the region. The visit also included a tour around HMS Middleton, a British Royal Navy hunt class mine countermeasures vessel. Present were the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, sons of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who has received training by the British Royal Navy, and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Royal Bahrain Naval Force Commander, Rear Admiral Sheikh Khalifa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales today paid a visit to the southern city site where they were briefed on model of residential units. They were accompanied by the Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and Minister of Housing Bassem bin Al Hamar. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said that the Kingdom of Bahrain is continuing to develop the services provided to citizens in line with the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness then said that the Kingdom's program includes the construction of 25,000 housing units. He commended the fruitful cooperation with the, Prince, uh, with, the, with the Prince Charles Foundation in the construction of the Southern City Project as part of efforts to attract international expertise to improve housing services provided to citizens. His Royal Highness said that the cooperation reflects the depth of uh, the Bahraini British cooperation, which includes various fields within the framework of the historical ties between the two friendly countries. The Minister of housing reviews stages of cooperation with the foundation in the Southern City Project.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today bade farewell to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall at the Sakhir Air Base following their visit to the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted that His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall's visit demonstrated how the collaborative relationship between Bahrain and the UK benefits both countries. The Crown Prince concluded by stressing that Bahrain and the UK have enjoyed deep-rooted and productive links for many years and that both countries recognize that increasing constructive cooperation is a key part of achieving shared goals of prosperity and stability. Sons of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Sheikh Hissa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, wife of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, members of the royal family and other senior officials were present. Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall today toured the Dar al Aman home. During her visit, Her Royal Highness participated in a roundtable discussion with representatives from government and non government organizations who are involved in advocacy and outreach campaigns. Following the roundtable, Her Royal Highness was briefed on the work and services the facility provides, as well as the important role played by the Supreme Council for Women, the STW, in developing strategies aimed at protecting women's rights. Speaking on the occasion, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, praised the long standing ties that exist between Bahrain and and the UK and highlighted that uh, this is evolving. A collaborative relationship will continue to help address key issues including social protection initiatives that work to advance Bahrain's international standing. Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall was accompanied on her visit by, his hi by Her Highness uh, Sheikh Hissa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, wife of the per personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of uh, Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamedan, the facilities uh, Director Mrs. Huda Fawzi Al Mahmoud and the President of Bahrain Sociology Society Mr. Hamid Mohsen.
Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall visited today one of Bahrain's cultural and architectural landmarks, the Bahrain National Theatre. During the tour, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall was accompanied by the Director of Arts and Culture at the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, Sheikh Hala bint Mohammed Al Khalifa. The Duchess toured the National Theatre where she viewed the building's architectural structure, which is inspired by a traditional Joe. The Duchess also had the opportunity to observe a rehearsal of the Bolshoi Ballet who are preparing for their first ever show in Bahrain. Since the National Theatre's development in 2012, it has hosted a series of international performances and brought a range of popular artists to the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales today visited the Tubli Bay Regeneration Project in the Ras Sanad area of Bahrain. He was accompanied by the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, the SCE, and the Vice President of the SCE, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. His Highness welcomed the visit of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales to Bahrain, noting that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad and Her Majesty the Queen of England and Northern Ireland, Bahrain UK ties continue to develop across a broad range of sectors in line with shared interests and the strategic goal of prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah extended his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales for his visit to the Ras Sanad Mangrove Forest, which has been recognized by the UN for its black mangrove. He also remarked that the Supreme Council for Environment was committed to protecting and developing the mangrove forest, which was an important ha habitat for a range of migrating birds. His Highness delivered a presentation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Crown Prince of Wales, during which he highlighted the forest's important place in Bahrain's marine environment. He also outlined the strategies currently in the pipeline to further develop the forest, adding that these steps would help Bahrain create a healthier and more vibrant ecosystem. Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid welcomed His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales visit, noting or noting the Prince's keen interest in promoting environmental issues and habitat conservation. He went on to emphasize Bahrain's commitment to preserving its ecosystem and the country's determination to implement policies up to the highest international standards. Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid emphasized SCE's commitment to furthering collaboration with the UN on protecting of the ecosystem, a key priority that will help preserve black mangroves and wildlife in Bahrain. The visit also included a presentation by the SCE's chief executive, Dr. Mohammed Mbarak bin Dana, on the various elements of Bahrain's marine environment. The chief executive went on to highlight the government's ongoing efforts to further develop mangrove plants and other eco-initiatives, including the establishment of a mangrove nursery in Tubli. He concluded by highlighting that the council is working hard to ensure that key objectives of sustainable development are met in full and noted the council's commitment to protecting the 
the environment. Mr. Zan Morgan, uh, the regional director of Blue Water Bio, a British company that is leading on the Tubli project, said Tubli has been a true win-win project. We have been able to deliver significant cost saving and potential revenue to the government of Bahrain and help the Kingdom of Bahrain to protect its environment and natural resources at the same time. It has opened the door for Blue Water Bio in the Middle East and we have benefited from the highly skilled local labor. We look forward to a continued long-term successful partnership. The visit included a mangrove planting ceremony in honor of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and a display exhibition of wildlife pho photographs taken by Bahraini photographers. The Foreign Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf were present. On the occasion of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Cornwall's visit to the Kingdom, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended a reception ceremony held by the Embassy of the United Kingdom in Bahrain in celebration of over 200 years since the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two countries. Present was the British Ambassador to Bahrain, Simon Martin. The Minister of Foreign Affairs expressed Bahrain's pride in the visit of their Royal Highnesses, which reflects the development of the bilateral relations after more than 200 years since its establishment that has benefited both apart people and is constantly developing in all areas. He praised the UK's support to the kingdom and its keenness to further develop cooperation in various fields. The ceremony included an exhibition of uh, local organizations where the attendees took a look at the Bahraini Farmers Market, the Bahrain Society for Animal Welfare, the Palm Association, the Active Education Institute, Bahrain Institute for Banking and Financial Studies, applied Sciences University, Concord's annual exhibition, Khalifa Shaheen's exhibition of photography, clubs of foreign communities and sports associations like the Rugby Club and the Cricket Club. The exhibition reflected the historic and cooperative relations between the Kingdom and the UK. The guests met with ministers, members of the representatives and Shura councils, English businessmen, current and the previous Bahraini ambassadors to the UK, diplomatic delegations, heads of the Commonwealth military officers from Bahrain, the UK and the United States and a number of members of some of the elite Bahraini families.
In the presence of His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended a reception hosted by the Embassy of the United Kingdom in commemoration of the Armistic Day in the 11th of November to the commemorative British soldiers and uh, soldiers of other allied nations who lost their lives in serving their homeland and they were a victim of World War I and II and the conflicts that ravaged the world. Present were the ambassador of the United Kingdom to Bahrain, Simon Martin, the British military attaché, Lieutenant Colonel Andy Bryce, Dean of the Cathedral of St. Christopher, Reverend Stephen Than Powell, and Royal Navy pastor in Bahrain, Nigel Birdsley. A two-minute silence has been observed. The Prince of Wales has laid a wreath for the commemoration. The foreign minister expressed sincere condolences to the United Kingdom, stressing that the Armistice, the, the Armistice Day reminds the United Kingdom and the world's humanitarian a painful plight that underlines the need to come together to prevent uh, the reoccurrence. For his part, the UK ambassador expressed his sincere appreciation to the foreign minister for participating in this event, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil bin Mohammed Ali Hamidan, said that women take over the bulk of jobs in the ministry and represent 80% of the workers in the social development sector of researchers and social workers. He affirmed that they are exceptional at their jobs and are the success of the field. Hamidan also pointed that the biggest challenge is to provide a suitable work opportunity for women fairly with men. He also affirmed that the ministry makes sure to make available vacancies and employment percentage of its total employment employment fair and reasonable. He also pointed that the percentage was 20% and has increased from 38% to 40% of the total employment in the government and private sector. The minister has called on the Bahraini women to benefit from the training programs offered by the ministry and Timkin programs that include 400 professional and specialist programs. Around 300 delegates have traveled from Bahrain to Rome for the This is Bahrain conference and exhibition, representing the kingdom's varied religious institutions, schools, societies and NGOs. The Bahraini message of interfaith dialogue and peaceful coexistence is in the heart of the roadshow. Daniel Deporto has more details in this report from Rome. Thank you. And also, you are coming to Ahead of the official opening of the This is Bahrain Conference and Exhibition, Rome Edition, a senior delegation comprising organizers, members of parliament and multi-faith religious leaders visited the European Parliament's Italian headquarters to spread the message of This is Bahrain. That message is one of peace and love amongst people of all faiths and backgrounds in line with His Majesty the King's vision and Bahrain's historic way of life. Vice President of the European Parliament and Head of the Interreligious Dialogue Commission, Alberto Tigiani, praised the efforts of the delegation in sharing Bahrain's example with the world. Bahrain is a good example for a better dialogue between religions, not only in your country, but also in the Muslim countries, as Jordan, for example. There are here many people coming from Bahrain, but people coming from different religions. Uh, Christian, Buddhist, uh, Jewish. I think this is very, very, very important. In the Muslim country, we need more freedom for uh, people of the other religions. It's also a good example for us. This, your work, the, the freedom in Bahrain, help the European Union for a better integration of Muslim people here. For this, I want to thank the King of Bahrain for this strong engagement in favor of the dialogue. It's a very, very good example. The delegates then visited Tempio Maggiore, where they were given a tour of the Jewish Museum of Rome before congregating with senior figures from Italy's Jewish community in the Great Synagogue of Rome, where speeches were made from several figures from both sides, expressing the importance of interfaith dialogue and education to the peaceful development of societies around the world. I didn't know in Bahrain. In Bahrain, I asked, I asked. I thought they were all Muslim, but it's not true. I saw there are Christian Orthodox, there are Muslims, uh, there are uh, Jews, there are Catholics, there are Buddhists, Indians, what you want. And they live all agree. There is no difference between one religion in the order. And this is a very encouraging message for us. 
The diverse delegation formed many significant connections during the morning's excursions, which will lead to further meetings and initiatives to enhance interfaith cooperation internationally in line with Bahrain's example. Uh, we do thank all the coordinators today. We do thank the respective uh, board members of the Jewish synagogue who have warmly welcomed us here, who have embraced us into uh, learning more about their history. And, uh, and we thank them also for having a very open-minded view about our country and the Gulf, uh, because they're very proud to know that Bahrain is the only Gulf country that embraces a Jewish synagogue. Uh, and, uh, and they're very impressed to understand how we all live together uh, of uh, various religious uh, differences, but we all stand united and we all serve our country. At this morning's important meeting at the Italian headquarters of the European Parliament, the importance of the Bahraini model for interfaith dialogue and peaceful coexistence was praised, especially for what it can teach Europeans. And at this morning's visit from the This is Bahrain delegation to the Tempio Maggiore, that message really came to life. Reporting from Rome, Italy, for Bahrain International, I'm Danielle Deporto.